Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Coliseum. It has been a minute, um, but you know what? Uh, there's been some audio issues, some technical issues, some health issues. There's just been issues galore. And guess what? We are back finally and we have a very important task. You see, we just finished up with the shrine. I never healed. Um, and, well, I'm going to go heal real quick. Um, but you see, we just finished up purging everybody from that shrine thing, um, and that means we can finish taking care of our shadow Pokemon. But first, first, let us go see her family. And you know what, I'll be honest, this may not even be what I need to do. But it's just been a minute. <laughs> We're about to find out if it's what I need to do. Go see an old man named Sinalore. He lives near the Pokemart down the hill. Sinalore is the authority when it comes to Celebi, that is, if he remembers. I also apologize if the voices have changed, but... Who can imagine what the voices were like however many weeks ago? Right now, I'm also monitoring um, a debate about um, a soul, a Pokemon Soul Link that has occurred, in which there was kind of a wipe, but not a wipe at the same time because they just reset it. Oh, hey, look, a Pokemon item. Pokemon item. Oh. Quick Claw, though. Quick Claw. Good item. Let you sometimes hit first, no matter what. So, this guy who lives down the hill near Pokemart... How far down the hill does he live? Because... He isn't down this far. Is he... Is he that house? Is it this guy? Sounds as if you two had quite the adventure. I hope Egan was feeling fine. Certainly an accomplishment for a man that age to battle with criminals. The mythical trainer's legend grows. Is it this house? This is down the hill. Um. Well, well. Let me have a peek at your Pokemon. My, my. For some reason, you don't have a Pokemon whose heart's door is closed. Oh, for some reason, you seem to have a Pokemon. It may take time. Battling is the best way to build trusting bond with their Pokemon. Battle together with your Pokemon often and it will open its heart without a doubt. Thank you. I had a theory that might be the case. Oh! You. Ah, you're Egan's beloved Torchic. No, wait. Who did you say you were? <laughs> That just immediately makes me think of My Hero Academia when um, Deku meets Gran Torino for the first time. <laughs> What's that? You want to ask me, Sinalore, about Celebi? Have no fear, no problem. Forget something that important? That's not gonna happen. Let me start with the relic in the relic forest. According to ancient lore, the relic is said to hold the power of time travel for Celebi. That mystical power is said to revive the most pleasant, most enjoyable memories of Pokemon. If only it worked on me and brought back my memories from my youth. Oh, 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 oh. Would you like to hear more? Yeah, just because for the viewers. <laughs> to meet Celebi directly, you must use an item called the Time Flute. That is all one needs to bring Celebi to the Relic Forest. Celebi will surely cause darkness to flee from the hearts of any Pokemon. So we need a time flute. Oh, no, 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 no. I have made a grave error. <laughs> he just called me a Wurmple. That's fair. That's fair. 
feel like though him calling me a wormhole there at the end was a little bit of an insult. Oh hey. Hi, Yuki. Welcome home. I finally found the small tablet. This, that is the small tablet that has been passed down through our family over many generations. Examine it. Sir, yes sir. Patty obtained the small tablet. The words carved into it. The words. An agate's most mystic relic, Celebi's power shelters. A heart imprisoned by shadows, its last door shall be opened by the power within. The relic must have some effect on shadow Pokemon. I'll leave that for you to determine for yourselves. Well, let's go give it a whirl. Yuki, move. Oh, Platy, your PDA just rang. Oh, right. It might be Duking asking with some news. Quick, let's check it out. Okay. Patty, we got big trouble. I just got word from our from our people that Mount Battle's under attack by a mysterious group of thugs. Please, can you go help? We think it's the same group as the one Meyer B belongs to. We're counting on you. Okay. What? Those crooks are loose on Mount Battle now? That's awful. We can't let this go on. Platty, let's go. Oh, wait. Grandpa, where is Mount Paddle anyway? Really, girl? Mount Paddle is to the northeast. You can see it directly in the distance once you leave the village. Hurry, Yuki. But I want to go to the relic. You know, I wonder if this is the same soundtrack for like music and stuff they have in Japan. I just wonder how popular this music is over there, or if it's even popular at all, or if they'd use something completely different. This is a lovely area. I love this area. It is amazing. I'd love to be in a place like this. Or to visit one. What's up? Is that right? Those crooks have raided Mount Battle? I get it. They're going after Vander on Mount Battle. I heard the rumors that Vander was after ability control Celebi. This music, when we first walked in, and it was just the harp, 100% Ocarina of Time. You don't believe me? Go rewind it, listen to it, go listen to Ocarina of Time. It's so similar. <clears throat> An in file. In file C is written on the files. Go read it. Celebi's power. The purification of Shadow Pokemon has several factors. Celebi begins, appears to have the power to boost the purification process. If a Shadow Pokemon encounters a Celebi, it recalls how its heart was before being closed and reverts to its original form. The Relic Stone of Agate Village appears to have the power to complete the purification process. These factors must be eliminated if our Shadow Pokemon plan is to succeed. Shadow Pokemon Lab. Chief in. <clears throat> Quagsire's opened its heart to me, guys. And gals. And everyone else. Ooh, Mudshot. And 1316 XP. Oh, a ribbon. Yeah, we're gonna give it a nickname. Um, you shall be called Steve. Uh, for anybody who wants to argue with Steve, just look at that face. Just, just look at that face. That is a Steve face. If there's anybody named Steve out there who takes offense to this, Quagsire's a strong mon. It's good typing. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, Skip Loom. Dun, 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 dun. That also reminds me of Legend of Zelda right there. Ocarina of Time. Synthesis, nice. 3500 XP! Only one level, wow. Skiploom's evolving. Do I still get to nickname it? 
Well, this is quite the eventful episode. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> Jump Bluff! Jump Bluff obtained a ribbon. Yes. Um, I don't know if Jump Bluff is a boy or a girl. I'm having a Professor Oak moment. Are you a boy or a girl? We're just gonna call you Dandy because you're a dandelion. You can be a dandy boy or a dandy girl. Oh, nobody else in my team can do it. Alright, let's go grab the rest of them and we'll just have a quick out of purification be cleansed be cleansed use the computer the very weird looking computer uh there should be a button yeah there we go all right, we're going to take Umbreon out for just a little bit. Um, Ms. Drevis. Ooh, girl. If I could get Flaffy to do it. That would be the bee's knees. If I could get Flaffy to evolve. Who doesn't love an Ampharos? I would love to meet somebody who would be like, no, Ampharos isn't good. And they're like... What do you not like about Ampros? How can you say it's not good? That's a great Pokemon. For it, stop being difficult. And if I'm correct, Hey Ryan Let's Play said that y you have a chance for it to be a shiny when you catch it and then again when you purify it. So that's an interesting thing. I've never had a shiny in this game first off, so that's not going to happen now. Never has happened. Not going to stress it out. Stress it out. Stress about it. Um. Yes, let us open the door to the Noctowl's heart. I like Noctowl. I think it's a very cool design. Steel wing, yes. Because it's a knocked out, we're going to call it knocked out. Or knock out. Nah. <laughs> <clears throat> I never gave Ms. Drevis enough credit. Like, I never really thought about the Pokemon before, but it's got some power. 8600? How much did I use Ms. Drevis? Goodness. I have not nicknamed Pokemon in forever, so forgive me if my names are Derp or anything else. But then again, I won't name anything Longy. <laughs> I will say though, Longy is the best, the best, just the best. For anybody that doesn't know, Longy 
is what the British Eagle called his Tropius when he had one in his verses against Solchrist, or in one of the verses. Flappy's evolving! Hex, yes! Ampros, here we come! Look at it! It just wants to be your friend. And I have to say, this thing got one of the best Mega Evolutions. It gets this glorious mane and becomes part dragon, which is insane! Uh, yeah, this is gonna be called Ane because they're always called Ane in the community. Like, Ane is an Ampharos. She just is. Sweet! <clears throat> Slugma. I always like the idea of Slugma, but it is very, very weak. Um, it gets very defense heavy when it turns into Mag Cargo. I'm forever going to want to say Mag Cargo fast instead of just Mag Cargo. Thank you, Soul Crist. <laughs> But speaking of... I think there's one more. I don't know if it's the same on here, but I have a shiny Ampharos in Pokemon Go. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of shiny Ampharos. I really like its regular... Iron Tail on a Furret? Holy crap. Why does Furret have so much XP? I don't remember using Furret that much. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We have that is all the Pokemon we have purified thus far. But this also means that Pokemon that we work with now will become stronger, finally. We're not going to be in a fixed point because they're Shadow Pokemon. <clears throat> Which is very nice. Oh, so let's go look at our team. I'll probably carry two to three Shadow Pokemon with me again. Um, I have Yanma, I'll take Mantine again, um, I want Ampharos, I can't believe I'm doing this, I'm gonna take Dunsparce. We're gonna put... Umbreon in, or Espeon in, in place of Ms. Drevis. I hate to do this, but I, I want to keep on, because Umbreon and Espeon were there in the beginning, I want to keep on with them. But this also means that I want to keep working on these. Alrighty, so onward to Mount Battle. Let's -a go. Still don't think I sound completely back to normal. It's just been a crazy time. That definitely looks like a mountain. I, 
I just realized this is a topographical map. Interesting. This music. This music, though. This kid has a lot of energy. It's terrible! Terrible! I, I tell you, it's terrible. <laughs> Mount Battle is under attack by a group of shady people. <laughs> I'm so out of breath. Stop running around. Bored. Thinking about taking the Mount Battle challenge? Forget about it. I'd keep clear of that place for now. I hear Mount Battle's been taken over by a bunch of trainers that use weird Pokemon. Oh, speaking of. Ooh, let's go get some more. Just in case. I have no idea how many Shadow Pokemon are waiting for us. And the case of what I've heard several British people say, happened to Scooby. I love that. Mainly because it's a Scooby-Doo reference, but... I want to go see Scoob. I think it's available now. I want to go see it. Love Scooby-Doo. Yes, I do want to stock up. I can buy Ultra Balls. Why does it go Great Ball, Pokeball, Ultra Ball? Is that weird to anybody else? Alright, so that's 10 Ultras. And 15 Great Balls. I have 3 full heals. I got some all of that. Yeah, just in case. I never really use netballs because I just kind of wrote them off. Because I always thought it said it works well on water and bug. Like, it had to be water and bug for it to work well. I'm a complete herp derp, I know. You've supposedly watched a few episodes of this, so you know I'm a, I'm a herp derp. Um, but yeah, I always thought that, and then, like, I don't remember when exactly my big revelation came, where it was like, oh, it means it'll work well on water and bug, not, like, oh, god. Bunch of creepy-looking trainers came and started attacking other trainers without any warning. Those trainers, the Pokemon they had, weren't normal any way you look at them. It looks like they're after Vander, who's the, an area leader, but why would they anyone want to do that? I'd go help, but best I've ever managed is eight consecutive wins. I wouldn't get very far. Oh, poor kid. No, I'm sorry, but I can't let you in. It's full of thugs. It's dangerous. Oh, you heard about us from Duking? You must be here to save us. <laughs> you see, it was me who contacted Duking for help. I didn't think you would get here so quickly. Let me tell you, lady, we have this awesome motorbike. Well, it's not a bike. Mono... Unicycle? I don't... Motor unicycle? I don't know. But please be careful, the power of their Pokemon isn't normal. Have you seen my Pokemon? We're not normal. Sup? One? Whoops, hold on, aren't you mistaking something? Mistaking something? All training has to be put on hold. But if you really must, sure, I'll battle you. Just let me by. Ryder Turo. Oh! Love the Trap Inch line. Flygon is definitely one of my all-time favorite Pokemon. Love him. Thankfully, it's not one of the evolved forms, so it's not going to be anywhere near as tough as it could be. I just really want to get rid of Trap Inch, because guess what? They know Bite. <laughs> That'd do a lot of damage to that there, Espeon. Eh. 
I should have put up Reflect. Oh. So out of practice, I'm making rookie mistakes. Rookie. And we get the critical hit. Yes. All right. Oh, he only has three. Looks like I didn't. Yanma, we were this close to being done with the fight. Like, yeah, I get to erase some more of your shadow gauge, but this means Espions could take another hit. It's confused. It still gets to attack, of course. Thank you for using it on Espion, actually. And this should end it. Woo! That was an interesting noise you just made, Numa. You don't need any training. Those are some serious, like, sideburns into mutton chops into beard going on with this guy. Did you see it? If... Ugh, Master Dakin will reprimand me. Don't worry, I'll reprimand him before he can reprimand you. Hmm, Turo took a fall, did he? I could never count on that guy. Well, I'll just think of it as there being more time for me to enjoy. Come on! Come on! From... Wait, that was really weird. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, my mic, headset, everything just died. It came right back on when I turned it on, but just static suddenly and then gone. Anywho, let's get to it. Hi, Ferdo. Key Cat came to visit. Bro, bro. And there goes Swinub. Swinub. I was really hoping we could catch that trap bench earlier. Such a cool mon. Starts from a little... thing. I know 100% we cannot catch a Larvitar. I 100% know we cannot catch it. Larvitar's not going to get taken out this turn. Close. It'll be gone next turn. It's 37? Wow. Okay. Oh. Goodbye, Espeon. Oh. Oh. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you, little Larvitar. Oh no, we gotta call. Yes, another bar purged. Perfect. You went for the mud slap on Yanma. Not gonna happen. Wait, Baltoy is part psychic. 
Yeah, we're gonna go swift. Pretty sure Baltoy is psychic anyway. I know Claydol is for certain. Well, this is gonna take a minute. Sorry about this, everybody. Especially if Yanma would won't let me attack with him. So two more at most. Who's that gonna hit? Uh, that that was not good. Okay. Um. Man, time. I think you know a water. You don't know anything. <laughs> Especially, I think you know a water move, don't you? You don't know anything. Like babes in the woods. That's that's not that has nothing to do with the situation. All right. A plus, A plus, platypus. A plus platy. By the way, we beat him. Trovich. I'm gonna get reprimanded too. Yes, you are. But it's okay. I will destroy your leader as well. Because I am the protagonist. And it is my destiny. Anyway, after that, um, Death of Yanma. I think um, that that's gonna be it for this episode. Um, sorry, a lot of it was just um, doing the purification, but at the same time, it's kind of cool to see what all we got. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for joining me. Um, sorry it took so long to get another episode up, um, but I will be working on getting them up more regularly again. So once again, thank you all for joining me, and take care.